Welcome back to Ox Tools. If this is your first visit to my channel, I'm Tom, the host. Welcome. A um, little bit about myself real quick. Um, I'm a lifelong metal worker, uh, avid or even rabid tool collector, and practitioner of all things mechanical. So during the day I have a kind of a normal job. Um, I work for a not very secret government laboratory um, working with people that are a lot more clever than I am and helping them uh, conduct their scientific research. Um, so when I'm here at home in my own shop, I'm, I'm on an endless exploration to learn as much as I can about a trade that's been very good to me. Part of my responsibility to that trade is to share my knowledge and experience with folks like you and try to preserve some of that knowledge by recording it on video and putting it up for everybody to look at. Okay, so without further ado, let's uh, we got something really interesting here to take a look at. This is a secret collaboration with a uh, fellow YouTuber uh, in the UK and. Uh, they are going to put out a series of videos, or at least one video, on uh, the use of this, what's inside this box. So uh, let's take a quick look and uh, kind of go through it and um, check it out. I think you're going to like it. So I'm going to actually call this Pandora's box because what's in here is there's so many things that are interconnected with this thing. Um, you know areas of study and um, uh, what I call rabbit holes that you can actually uh, find yourself uh, going down to uh, to learn more about uh, engineering and science and uh, uh, the physical world. Uh, it's pretty, it's kind of neat. In fact, I made a a kooky uh, rabbit hole diagram here uh, just to kind of uh, uh, think about all the stuff uh, uh, in a kind of a methodical way. Um, We'll uh, explain more about this shortly. <laughs> so what we have here is this is a um, Kingsbury Mitchell um, tilting pad bearing. Uh, this particular one um, is an aerodynamic bearing, meaning that it's an air bearing or a, a fluid film bearing, and the fluid in this case being um, uh, air. Let's take it out of the uh, thing. and it's, it's falling apart on me here. It's Got some movable tilting pads here that I'm about to lose. Let's get that out of the way. So let's take a look at this thing here. There's one of the pads, and there's one of the uh, the the pivots for the pads. There, it's just a steel ball. So we got hard steel ball on a hard steel surface. This has been lapped flat. Um, to something like um, 100 nanometers flatness. Um, it's got a pretty high finish on it. You'll notice it's got some scratches from operating. That's just from dust and whatnot. That doesn't really <clears throat> affect the uh, how it works. Uh, what does affect uh, how it works is uh, any kind of dust or dirt or oil or fingerprints or anything like that. That's just a little shipping bolt. Um, so the first phenomenon that uh, uh, for study is you'll see that these pads want to lift with it. Those are actually wanting to ring together and ringing is a phenomenon that we uh, we see in gauge blocks uh, because of their flatness and finish. Um, they and we're just going to put the, the, the shaft in there. Okay so here's our here's our tilting pads. Ball tilting pad okay and so these are free to uh, to swivel about and seek their proper orientation in relation to the uh, the rotor face okay so let's let's get it set up and uh, then we'll uh, we'll run it a little bit and uh, you can see how it works right, let's put the rest of this together here so this rod is an insulator we're gonna run that down and tighten it up and we'll put the contact arm on um, and it has a flag as well. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to put the flag on top, I think. And then the uh, this little peg goes down. Like so. Okay, and we'll just leave that loose for now. So now, without touching anything, we want to put it together. And this 
center uh, small diameter shaft fits in the and that bushing is an insulator as well so let's, uh, let's drop that in there and just gently set her down like so and make sure everything is in order yeah, it looks like it is okay and we'll swing this arm around and then drop that peg in the hole and then just lightly snug that up okay so now we should have a conductive path through and we'll check that with our octo octo continuity checker there and we do and then now we're going to give it a little a little spin up here give it a little a little spin like that and we're floating on air we're floating on about three or four microns of air right there and we we're proving that because uh, we don't have a conductive path through anymore which is really cool oh, it's starting to touch and as it slows down then it'll uh, it'll touch so I, one of the questions that uh, that comes up is uh, and let's get it going again here Give it a little, a little spin is you know can it take any uh, let's spin it up pretty good here okay so I'm going to put some weight on that. I'm pushing down pretty good, so that's maybe five or ten pounds of force right there. And we're not touching. Now eventually it'll touch. Let me slow it down artificially here. And then we'll come into contact shortly here. You know, beep like that. Pretty cool, huh? So let's do this. I got a um, I got a little dynamometer here, and so this reads in pounds. That's two pounds, four pounds, six pounds. Okay, and uh, what we'll do is let's let's spin this thing up. Get it going pretty good there. And then what we'll do is we'll push down right here. It's slowing down pretty fast with eight pounds on it. And then, but it's amazing that it'll hold the weight of the rotor up with very little air being drawn into the uh, into that gap. So that gap is. Uh, Oh, I already mentioned the gap. So it's like three microns, some three or four micron. Uh, the gap, one to two tenths, something like that. Uh, that gap. So just real briefly uh, about these stones here. So these, these, this is not a sharpening stone and shouldn't be treated as such. These have been uh, lapped to basically optical flatness. Um, very similar to the flatness of the these parts here. So 50 do. 50 uh, nanometers, something like that, kind of wavelengths of light stuff. Um, and they're used to find, to basically shear off any any burrs or dust or anything that's on the, on the surface. And uh, so basically it scrapes the surface flat and clean. And that's what's special about them, okay? And uh, so we rub them together to make sure that there's, there's nothing adhering to these, right? And uh, thereby cleaning themselves. And then we apply this to the the flat surfaces that we want to uh, to mate really well. Okay, so these are real important, and uh, they're included with the uh, with the kit there. So uh, for all the viewers out there, um, plans for this uh, will be available um, after the release of all the construction videos, and um, uh, so you can uh, build your own if you want to and play around with it. So thanks for watching.